Every YouTube video on Sasquatch-like creatures begin with a deep baritone narration and include this standard photo. So why shouldn't I go with the flow? Throughout the world, there are stories and legends of huge hairy ape-like creatures retold through generation to generation. Blah, blah, blah. New Zealand can't escape this madness either. The internet and YouTube have proved fertile ground for anyone to assert New Zealand has a yeti-like creature. They normally start off pre-processing the same old bump about Maori legends speaking of an ape-like creature. Let's address this historic assertion without employing Google and instead go to the books in the library. There are indeed Maori legends about wild men in the looser sense. As with the legendary mythical Tanafa, these wild men, in inverted commas, take many forms. Myro was one of the terms to describe a wild man used in the Taranaki. They ate their food raw, apparently. Included in their diet was human flesh. Myro is similarly a term used in the central South Island, except Mary there used to call it Myroro referencing a man-like creature who played a flute and used his large, sharp fingernails to catch fish. Down in the Catlins, Southland, Myroro is said to be a distinct tribe of pre-European humans who were not Maori. Where it gets confusing is the term Myroro crops up as an elf-like creature. So with the real Myroro, please step forward please. You guys are way too Morpheus for my liking. What about the legendary Moiho, the wild men said to be New Zealand version of Bigfoot? Not just a mythical denizen. Well, there's good news to your avid Finding Bigfoot and Mountain Monsters viewer. And they will be delighted to know Moiho do crop up in traditional Maori oral history as well. Specifically the Te Arawa people in the North Island, Central North Island to be exact. They described Moiho as a hellishly strange creature. Half man, half fish, with a single cyclops eye. Mary mythology includes these as well under the term or heading Moiho. And that's right, fairies. A Sasquatch, they aren't. Bugger it. Why did I put that photo on the video, Paul? You know it will induce you to turn up the country music currently playing in the background. Phew, thank god that's over. I was going to dosy do there for one terrible moment. Back to civilization. Moreover, Mary, don't go looking in the forests at the moment for Moiho, any more than Norwegians roam the fields for trolls nor the locals in Dublin installing infrared cameras in their backyards to capture pictures of the elusive leprechaun. The literature, as opposed to a dodgy reaffirming blog site, as far as my research could tell, seems to indicate that the popular name Moiho in terms of an ape-like humanoid sprung up in the 1880s, named after the Moiho range in the Coromandel. The Coromandel Peninsula being the place the creature has allegedly been spotted the most, leading it to be dubbed the Hairy Man. And the Coromandel Hairy Horror. The late 50s through to the 70s was the apex of the Moiho Come Hairy Man reports. That can probably be put down to the sudden appearance of Yeti in the news. Even New Zealand's most famous person, Sir Edmund Hillary, was sponsored to go searching for Yeti as a side project to a physiological experiment he was doing high up a mountain in Nepal. Hard to believe I know. 
but as you see on your screen I've done a video on that one and it deserves way more views than it's currently got link in the description add to this reports now coming out of the US about a creature called a Sasquatch and hey presto there were reports left right and centre which petered out in the 80s and then sprung up again in the 90s when not content with being the backdrop for a cheese commercial the owner of this west coast pub claimed he scared off a giant hairy man raiding his veggie garden subsequently the publican made helicopter bigfoot hunts an optional extra for his guests it proved popular with the japanese in particular to sidestep quickly again and two years later another west coast pub owner said he came across a live mower whilst out hiking if you are from overseas and wondering what the hell a mower is here is a stuffed one from my local museum they're extinct by the way or at least that's what we thought until 1993 and there's a link to a video i did on this sighting below and back into it well, that's before we even get to the people, always men by the way, who went out and started to hunt for the moiho. Yes, in the same fashion as, say, a crap American television program. There was Jim Quinlan in 1960. And after three decades of failing to find big feet in his home country, Australian Rex Gilroy in 1994. He still runs the Yowri Research Centre, by the way. Rex adheres to the philosophy that if you fire enough shots at weird shit, you are bound to hit something. Best exemplified by his prodigious writings, a few of which include Vikings Discovered Australia. There are hidden pyramids under every second decent amount of herb. Giants. Yes, as in Goliath type humans. And oh yeah, under Sydney's water catchment there's a secret underground CIA base. By now you get the picture about our wrecks. And God loves a try. And just when you thought this moiho madness had finally been put to sleep. Up crops Mark Koppel in 2019. He certainly looks the part. His hunter's hat is particularly impressive. The vest clearly shows he's read about the half man half fish myth and packed a line with a breaking strength of 300 pounds. Mark's even started a crowdfunding page to find and film a moiho. Clearly a lot of New Zealanders have embraced this project. Currently the site total sits at 65 bucks. Give till it hurts people. None of the more obvious facts seem to deter Bigfoot believers though. And take a look at this creature to start with. New Zealand's only land-based indigenous mammal encapsulated in one photo. Even mice were introduced, and yet somehow a giant flesh-devouring bipedal ape resides in the bush, and just waiting to be found. Ask yourself, what the hell do they eat? Are they on some sort of mass keto diet? The sad thing about my logical and well-researched rant is this video will get 10% of the views compared to one in which advocates can't even pronounce the word moiho correctly so cheers for joining me today here at interesting things be sure to check out those other two related videos i've done when sir ed went on a yeti hunt and the last of the moa hunters links below to both of those and in case you weren't aware for every new subscriber to this channel Somewhere, Somewhere a boy, boy will get to, get to taste, taste his, his first, first beer. beer. Bye for now.